Murkowski had words. Oh, you can see it coming. And as you mentioned before, Mark uh, and Bill, Dennis Robin has to be very careful already with that first technical foul. Any kind of talking or two players getting together like that, and he will get whistled for that second and be tossed. It's absurd that Dennis Rodman can walk around acting like, well, look what they're doing to me. They're hitting me. They're pushing me. Dennis Rodman initiates all that stuff. Rodman inside there. Just keep walking. Keep walking right into Brukowski. Elbows, arms all tied up. Innocent victim, Dennis. Defenders. He's just trying to go through him or over him. That won't work. Joe Crawford says, stay right here, and Dennis Rodman could be losing it. Now he's applauding the call. Rodman was about to get involved and then walked away. Joe Crawford is going to call a flagrant foul here on Frank Krakowski. who has had his ups and downs at the line is able to hit the first for his first point of the night. Bukowski <laughs> looking to box out, looking to keep Rodman off, but just moved over with the forearm, with the elbow to the upper midsection. Very dangerous play, uncalled for. Now Judd Bushler replaces Dennis Rodman. The conversation continues. And a technical has been called on Bukowski. A double technical on Frank Bukowski. Apparently, Joe Crawford feels that the intent of Bukowski was to instigate something against Rodman. Bukowski now walking in the direction of a couple of balls that he's joined by a security man. Ushered back to the locker room. And he got a couple of parting shots to referee Joe Crawford, and then one final party shot to, I'm sure, Jack Haley sitting on the bench. An absolutely uncalled for situation by Burkowski, who's a good, skilled basketball player who try, sometimes gets too caught up in the physical aspect of the game. But he gets a flagrant foul and then two technicals. We're going to just see a parade to the line for Chicago.